you have to ask me questions. Right. Entering into the dialogue with the materials. Now then, although it's quite smelly when it's wet and in its raw state, as soon as it's dried out, it doesn't smell at all. And in fact, it's got some antiseptic properties. So, but everything that comes out of the cow has got some holy aspect to it. Although, of course, it's cow dung and buffalo dung, which probably isn't so holy. My mind has to be in a state of fertile creativity before I can speak about these things. Well, I don't know if I am interested in cow dung yet. Maybe I'm not interested in it. I don't know what to tell you about the cow pads at the moment until I've started to use them in a way that is seems to be working, which might not even happen. It's more to do with the mixture that the ladies smear onto the cow pads than the little cake things, which are okay, but not that great. But it's the structures that they make that are particularly good, like little upturned boats or chapels, or not really like little houses, although they could be like little houses in a way, but solid. Chilies. Oh, well, that was, that was something else. Yeah, that was a solution to a particular problem. About the bees' nests. So that's all there is to say about the cow dung for the moment, apart from the fact that the people in the museum seem to have taken objection to the idea of having their museum filled up with a lot of smelly shit which I suppose isn't totally surprising although considering that is what happens in probably every single village that the craft that they show arrives from there would only be um, it would only be telling about India if they had a bit in the museum. Actually, most people would quite like it anyway, or find it interesting. I would say. From here, where are you going? From India? From here, I go to Xiamen in China. And what are you going to do there? I don't know, maybe something about sweeping. I might, I could have done something about sweeping here actually. Sweeping is an activity that we don't do so much of in Europe anymore. Well, a certain amount, but more hoovering or blowing. You get those ridiculous machines that blow leaves around that men carry around on their backs. But sweeping here is still an everyday part of millions of people's lives. In fact, they probably spend all their lives sweeping stuff up. Or more to the point, sweeping it around, not sweeping it up at all. Creating a lot of dust by shifting a pile of rubbish from one place to another and then sweeping it back again. But it has acquired some spiritual significance too. For instance, in Burma, the ladies, posh ladies, would go around the temple sweeping, symbolically sweeping with their brooms. Anyway, you don't get that here as far as I've noticed, but, nor have I seen it in China. 
but sweeping and the implements of sweeping cleaning seem quite interesting to me not quite sure what you could do about that but it's part of a culture that we don't share although we understand what it is and um, I noticed that in Uganda, for instance, you get the most fantastic coloured brushes and brooms of all different materials and colours. So maybe that will be something. Maybe it will.